Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander, patronized today the inauguration ceremony of Special Battalion 83 Camp. Upon arrival, His Majesty was received by the Commander in Chief of Bahrain Defense Force, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, Minister of Defense Affairs, Lieutenant General Yusuf bin Ahmed Al Jarahma, Commander of the Royal Guard, Brigadier General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Commander of the Special Battalion 83. His Majesty the King then removed the curtains off the commemorative board launching the camp and raising the flag of the Special Battalion 83, which contributes along with other BDF units to protecting the kingdom's gains and achievements. A number of officers were honored by greeting His Majesty the King. His Majesty the King then visited the shooting field. After that, His Majesty the King signed the VIP guest book in which he expressed pride in BDF affiliates and units and their efforts in protecting the security and stability of the country and the region. His Majesty then received a commemorative gift on this occasion. His Majesty the King honored members of the Royal Guards, Captain Abdullah Saleh Abdullah Al Nafa and First Sergeant Saleh Awad Al Garadi for their participation in a mission to aid refugees with the British ship in the Mediterranean. And he expressed pride and appreciation for their efforts in carrying out their noble duties. His Majesty the King congratulated the commander of the Special Battalion 83 and its affiliates on the occasion, wishing them further success. He hailed the development of the BDF and its contributions to protecting the country and enhancing its development march. His Majesty affirmed the government keenness on providing the BDF with the latest military systems and training its affiliates in various fields. His Majesty also asserted the importance of enhancing military cooperation with the GCC member states and with friendly countries in order to face all the challenges that threaten the region. 
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, the Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met today with the United Arab Emirates Minister of Energy Suhail Mohammed Faraj Al Mazrouri at Ghadibiya Palace. During the meeting, His Royal Highness highlighted the strength of relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Arab Emirates, supported by the commitment of both leaderships and its steady growth across various sectors. His Royal Highness recalled his recent meeting with the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, and welcomed His Highness's desire to further strengthen bilateral ties in a collaborative way that positively supports the GCC and its initiatives. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince expressed his desire to deepen cooperation between the two countries in the fields of energy and renewable resources, a vital sector that attracts significant investments and helps drive innovation and the sustainability of resources. His Royal Highness praised the steps the UAE has taken in the field of renewable energy and welcomed the opportunities provided by the bilateral agreement to encourage the use of leading technology. He also highlighted Bahrain's and the wider GCC's internationally recognized efforts to protect the environment and noted the ongoing work to build partnerships to enhance the renewable energy sector and improve cooperation to develop an attractive investment climate in this important area. In response, the Minister of Energy of the UAE expressed gratitude for the opportunity to meet His Royal Highness and appreciation for the Kingdom's support of the bilateral relations across various fields. The Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs, Abdul Hussein Mirza, also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister received at Khadebiya Palace today affiliates of the second batch of the Office of the First Deputy Prime Minister Fellowship Program for the Development of National Caters. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince affirmed the importance of investing in human resources and developing Bahraini youth potentials in enhancing the comprehensive development march in all government bodies in accordance with the directives of His Majesty the King. He stated that the contributions of Bahraini competencies are a a key element in developing establishing initiatives. The, he stressed uh, his support to all measures that encourage national caters the capabilities in various fields. His Royal Highness reviewed the project of the program's affiliates and commended their commitment to meet the requirements of the program and their keenness to develop their capabilities through the experience they gain from the program. He noted that the high participation of Bahraini youth in the program reflects their keenness in seizing opportunities to achieve their ambitions and to contribute to developing their country. The Premier commended uh, the determination of the affiliates of the first and second batch of the program, adding that the program provides an opportunity for uh, Bahraini youth to learn more about government work and integration among its members. His Royal Highness expressed thanks and appreciation to the organizers of the program for the efforts they exert to ensure the success of the program in achieving its set goals, wishing them further success. For their part, the program's affiliates expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for his support, adding that the training they received in the program will motivate them to exert more efforts in order to contribute to the comprehensive development of the kingdom. Commander-in-Chief of the Bahrain Defense Force, the BDF Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, attended today the conclusion of the joint military exercise Hamad II, organized by the BDF in participation of the Egyptian Armed Forces. Upon arrival, he was received by Commander of the Royal Bahrain Naval Force, the RBNF Commander Sheikh Khalifa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and Egyptian Navy Commander Rear Admiral Ahmed Khalid Hassan Saeed, as well as a number of senior officers of the BDF and heads of the participating delegation. The Commander-in-Chief inspected the naval ships taking part in the exercise, where he was briefed on the goals and different stages of the drill. He highlighted the advanced skills showcased by the participating forces in the joint military exercise that shall serve the purpose of attaining the highest level of mutual, mutual benefits through enhancing or exchanging combat expertise. He also added that such exercises would elevate the competency of combatants in all military Military operations facing different kinds of threats. The Commander-in-Chief expressed his pride and spirit and cooperation and coordination he witnessed between the BDF and the participating Egyptian Arab forces, evident through the execution of the various military, naval and, and aerial exercises. He underscored Bahrain's keenness of uh, taking part in joint military exercises with
with the neighboring countries. Foreign Affairs Minister Sheikh Khalid bin, Ahmed, bin Mohammed Al Khalifa met the UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres at the UN headquarters in New York in the presence of Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Women, the SCW, Dr. Sheikh Maryam bin Hassan Al Khalifa, SCW Secretary General Ahala Al Ansari, and Chair of the Bahraini Chamber for Dispute Resolution, the BCDR, Sheikh Haya bin Rashid Al Khalifa. The Foreign Minister conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and those of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres. The Minister also conveyed to the UN Chief greetings of Her Royal Highness Wife of His Majesty the King and SCW President Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, wishing him a successful career in his new post as UN Secretary General. The Minister hailed the UN Commission on the Status of Women for the ongoing care it accords to the outstanding initiatives aimed to improve women's conditions recently embodied in UN's adoption of Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa's Global Award for Women Empowerment as another step forward in the course of women's progress across the world. The minister expressed his confidence in Guterres' ability to underpin UN role in today's world, which is being torn apart by problems and overlapping crises, something that necessitates concerted efforts and closer international cooperation to overcome obstacles and to attain a brighter and more prosperous future for humanity. In this context, the minister affirmed the keenness of the Kingdom of Bahrain to prop up UN efforts to underpin world security and stability and to reinforce a peaceful coexistence worldwide and interstate cooperation towards UN member states' achievements of comprehensive sustainable development goals. The minister underlined uh, the need for the High Commissioner's Office for Human Rights to commit itself to cooperate and consultation with the Kingdom of Bahrain on the basis of respect of its sovereignty and its uh, human rights achievements that made it an example worth emulating. The minister added that this was a byproduct of Bahrain's solid constitutional institutions, national projects and plans, and its ongoing initiatives to reinforce and protect human rights and interact positively with the UN and friendly countries. For his part, the UN chief valued Bahrain's cooperation with the United Nations and UN-affiliated agencies, wishing Bahrain further success and prosperity. The National Institution for Human Rights hosted a visit by the European Working Party delegation today to learn about Bahrain and its achievements in the human rights field in the presence of a number of members of the Board of Commissioners and officials at the headquarters of the institution. Ibab al Ghaffar was there and has more details in the following report. Bahrain holds a strong and principled position in supporting human rights, considering them fundamental not only in legislation but also in implementation, monitoring and enhancement. The European Working Party delegation visited the National Institution for Human Rights in Bahrain today, sharing their views and inquiries, welcomed and answered with transparency and independence. No leader will ask an outside outside committee, independence committee, to come and investigate, and His Majesty the King, um, uh, braveness has uh, allowed this, and they come and they work independently and they issue their report. A detailed explanation of the situations, the mechanism of receiving complaints from citizens and residents, their handling, monitoring, and follow-up helped the delegation have a clearer view of the situation. We expose them to the annual reports that we write and we issue and are available on our website. We also expose them to the shadow reports that we write on specific issues. Nevertheless, economic, social and cultural legislations and regulations that fall within the areas of human rights were also discussed. In the economic investment in Bahrain, it's very important uh, to us uh, to make sure that all the law in Bahrain according to the human rights to save the interest of the investor in Bahrain. Discussions were supported with statistics and actual documents with openness to proposals and recommendations. We were able to answer them by, by statistics, by the uh, uh, number of people who, who approaches us. At the end of the visit, the head of the EU delegation spoke highly of the great humanitarian role played by the National Institution for Human Rights and expressed his sincere thanks for their hospitality, reception and response to all their inquiries and questions. 
since the recognition of human rights is among national constants and a crucial part of Bahrain's constitution, the National Institution for Human Rights hosts an EU visit today, ensuring Bahrain's commitment to the values of justice and equality without any discrimination. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdel Ghaffar. The Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum paid a visit to the Kingdom of Bahrain Ministry of Education Pavilion in the Global Education Forum and Expo held at Dubai World Trade Center. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed was received by Bahrain's Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Al Naimi, where he briefed His Highness on the educational services provided by the Ministry for the students of various educational levels and the Ministry's development projects. The Ministry of Education's Pavilion witnessed a large number of visitors where they, where they were informed about the various efforts of the ministry.